I have yet to hear of any Japanese or white person or anybody who could lay down an explanation of the Gohanzan in black dialect. I believe that I'm the first person in the world to lay down an explanation of the Gohanzan black style. On the Gohanzan is Shaka Muni Buddha who is seated in the treasure tower of many treasures Buddha. While this great treasure tower is a metaphor or a story that happens in the four reaches of the universe, the treasure tower of many treasures is your life. Of the seven treasures. Now, again, the treasure towers is your life of the seven treasures. Let's go to these seven treasures. Number one, hearing the correct teachings. Number two, believing the correct teachings. Number three, keeping the precepts or living by code of moral conduct. Number four, Engaging in meditation. Shining is a form of meditation. Number five, practicing assiduously the word. Now, gongyo means assiduous practice. Number six, renouncing one's attachments. People get hung up on things or attached to things. When you give up your attachments, you are finding a real treasure. And number seven, reflecting on oneself when you when you enter the treasure tower, or let us say your God consciousness, you reflect upon yourself. When you come to this Gohanzan, and let us show you the Gohanzan. This is the Gohanzan, and when you reflect upon the Gohanzan, you are reflecting upon yourself. Now, on the Gohanza, or at least here is Shakyamuni Buddha and many treasures Buddha on the Gohanza. Now, down the center of the Gohanza is Namu Myoho Ringe Kyo, and the Gohanza is the treasure tower. Shakyamuni explains in the Lotus Sutra that he attained Buddhahood 100,000 trillion billion years ago practicing the Dharma. Based on our concepts, he explains that he used his supernatural powers to teach Buddhism throughout the universe. He is known as the eternal Buddha. Let us first deal with the concept of the eternal Buddha. Please understand that the most important teachings of the Lotus Sutra is the eternal Buddha. Let me shake the altar for a minute. We have found from our Japanese teachers, meaning the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, Nichiren Shu, all of the Japanese sects who teach Buddhism is a blatant misrepresentation of the eternal Buddha as taught in the Lotus Sutra. When you find your faith in the Gohanzan, you are actually finding God. You also find within the Gohanzan the eternal Buddha Shakyamuni. The eternal Buddha Shakyamuni is found through your Buddhist faith, not through some organization, not through some Buddhist teacher, not through some priest. Down the center of the Gohanzan are the words Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, or it is the treasure tower. You are Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. And Namu Myoho Renge Kyo is also you. This is the ultimate and absolute 
universal law. We are taught that God is omnipotent and omnipresent. What is the one thing in the universe that is absolute or omnipotent or omnipresent? Only the universal law of cause and effect is omnipotent or omnipresent. Since the universal law of non yohoniko is omnipotent or omnipresent, that itself is God. And that itself is in the Gohan Zan. Recently, just a couple of years ago, science revealed that Higgs boson or the particles of elementary standard particles in physics known as the God particle. These particles are Yoho Ringe Kyo or cause in effect phenomenon. The phenomenon is found in the Gohan Zan. Now, let's get into the Gohan Zan. The first character to the right is many treasures Buddha. Now, down the center of the Gohan Zan, it's no more your and get killed, but the first character there, that's many treasures Buddha. Now, uh, the first chapter of the many treasures Buddha is Tahoe Buddha represents the law or objective wisdom. The seven treasures are what? Hearing the correct teachings, believing the correct teachings, keeping the precepts, living by the code of moral conduct, engaging in meditation or chanting, practicing essentialistly like the Kongyo, renouncing one's attachments. People get hung up on things, attached to things. When you give them your attachments, you find a real treasure. Reflecting on oneself is when you enter the, terror, the treasure tower or the God consciousness when you enter or you focus on the Gohanzan. The Gohanzan is your God consciousness. You enter the world of God by putting your faith in the eternal Buddha Shakyamuni that is seated on the Gohanzan to the left of Taho Buddha. Right here. Now, this is how you find your God consciousness. Tahoe Buddha represents objective law or the law and Chakamuni represents the person. It is the oneness of the person and the law. Now, on the four sides of the Gohanzan is the four heavenly kings. They are the protectors of the world and fighters of evil. Each command a legion of supernatural creatures to protect the Dharma. These are the four foundations of Gohanza and they represent north, south, east, and west and also winter, spring, summer, and fall. Now, the first God is here. On the four columns, right there, to the top left. Now, this God is Dai Pishamantenyo. He's a brother. He is called the Black Warrior or the Northern God who represents wealth and collects wisdom to be imparted to others. The real wealth is wisdom. He is in the upper left hand corner of the Gohanzan. Now we go to Dai Joku to Tenyo. He presides over spring. He is in the east and maintains the law or state who represents strength and who always seeks consensus. He is the lord of the east, the king of celestial musicians, feeders of fragrance. He is often depicted holding a sword and a string music instrument. He maintains an army of musicians 
to convince you to accept Buddhism with music. He is in the upper right hand corner of the Gohanzan. You got Bishamon on the left, and you have Dai Joko Tenyo on the right. Dai. Now, in the 15th chapter of Oda Sutra, innumerable Buddhistavas emerge from the sky beneath the Saha world with the four leaders superior practice, limitless practice, pure practice, and steady established practice. In common everyday terms, we find in the Gohanzan true self, eternity, purity, and happiness. The one thing that Nichiren Buddhism helps you to do is find your true self. The Bodhisattvas on the Gohanzan who represent your true self is Bodhisattva superior practices or Namu Jogo Bosatsu. Now, J O Jogo Bosatsu, who is Nichiren Shonen or Bodhisattva superior practices. Mm -hmm. The Gohanzans help you to find your true self. Nichiren Shonen is the first person to tell us about Nam Mu Myoho Renge Kyo. He is the third character on the right from the center. This is the center of the Gohanzan was Nam Mu Myoho Renge Kyo. You count one, two, three. That is Buddhist superior practices. Now, Nam Mu Mo Hingyo Bosatsu, he represents eternity. He is the fourth character from Namu Myoho Renge Kyo in the center of the right side. This is the center, Namu Renge Kyo, the treasure tower, and you count one, two, three, four. That is Namu Myogyo Bosatsu. He represents eternity. Now, let us move to purity. Now, Namu Jogo Bosatsu or Pure Practices, the sound is the same, but the spelling is different. Now, it sounds like Jogo Bosatsu, but the spelling is Jo, J Y O, as opposed to J O. He represents purity. He is the third character from the center, from the left, from center, from right here. One, two, three. There, the third character. He is Jogo Basatsu. Now, he represents again purity. Now, we move this, and it's represented by Namu Anrugyo Basatsu. He is the fourth character on the left from center. Bodhisattva of firmly established practices, Anrugo, corresponds to the element of the earth, as has powers of the earth, steadfast, stubborn, nourishing peace. This is happiness, a peace of mind. Please be clear that there is absolutely nothing about the Gohanzan, the Lotus Sutra, or true Buddhism outside your own life. If you try to explain about the Gohanzan outside your own life, it creates the impression in our Christian culture that you are worshiping an idol. When you deal with true self, eternity, purity, and happiness, everyone can understand such a concept. When we say God, such a term is general. To specific to God or heaven is true self, eternity, purity, and happiness. When you think of heaven, we think of true self, eternity, purity, and happiness. When we practice to devote ourselves to the Lord of Sutra, we bring out our inherent God-like character. Whether you are black or white, Asian or any type or race or human, we all have a Buddha nature. One's race does not make one superior or inferior. We all have a Buddha nature. What does make a difference is our explanation 
in terms of culture. If I am black, it is easy for me to explain Buddhism via my culture or dialect. We hold that we can teach or communicate to our people better than any person that is not from our culture or our community. On the Nichiren Prayer Go Hanzan is Namu Jipo Bushin, who sits on the upper left side beside Shakyamuni Buddha. Now, this God represents the ten directions, that is, east, south, west, north, Southeast, southwest, northeast, northwest, up, zenith, down, the dark. Bhushan, limitless imagination of the Buddha bodies. Now, right here, beside Chakramuni, is this God. Now, this God, Namo Jupan Bhushan, he is not on the SGI or Nitrin Shoshu Gohanzan. Now, the SGI and Nitrin Shoshu Gohanzans do not have these gods. What you find in these gods is that whenever you make these Buddhas are virtuous, they got your back. Now, so there's two gods. You got Namo Zentoku Nora on the upper right side seated at the Tahoe Buddha right here and you got uh, Jipo Bushin. So there's two gods that's on the Nichiren Prayer Gohanzan that is not on your SGI or your Nichiren Shoshu Gohanzan. Now let me have a little fun here. Two of my most favorite gods on the Gohanzan are the wisdom kings. And wisdom is very important because Buddhism actually means wisdom. Now, there is immovable, one god called immovable, right here. That's a bija seed. The bija seed. That's another bija seed. They, that is the wisdom kings. Now, one is called immovable and one is called cravefield. Immovable is known in Japan as Fudu Myo. He is a brother. He's most of the time you see him as a black person. Now he converts anger into salvation. He is furious, glaring face as Fudo seeks to frighten people into accepting the teachings of Danichi Buddha. He carries a Kurukara or devil subsuing sword in the right hand represent wisdom cutting through ignorance. Holds a rope in the left hand to catch and blind up, blind up demons. And he stops a lot of BS. Now, often the third eye and the forehead is all seen, often seated or standing on a rock behind because Fudo is immovable in his faith. Fudo is also worked as a deity who can bring monetary fortune. Also, Fudo's left eye is closed and his teeth bite the upper lip. Alternatively, Fudo is shown with two fangs, one painted pointing upward and the other pointing downward. Fudo's oreo is typically the flames of fire, which according to Buddhist lore represents the purification of the mind by burning away all material desires. In other words, Fudo Myo helps you to balance yourself. Now, that's again, that's the Bija character. Now, to the left, this is the god called Cravefield. He is best known as Azen Myo. Azen Myo is the god of love among Japanese esoteric sects. King of sexual passion converts earthly desires, love, lust into spiritual awakening, saves people from the past, from pain that comes with love. Boy, I need this dude here. 
three faces, three arms, six, three faces, three eyes, six arms, typically holding weapons, often wears a crown of a magical line, red body symbolizes the power to purify sexual desires, often carries a bow and arrow like Cupid, and, and at the Ka Kuanji Temple in Kamakura. So, this God here is the God of love. When you get hung up on love, you get your heart broken, all that kind of stuff, this God here, or you're trying to find love, that's the God you go to to help you. Now, two things that can knock people down, they are material desires and sex. Now, but you got these two gods here that that's what they do. They handle your material desires so you don't get crazy and feel you have to have everything in this world to be happy and sex. And boy, when it comes to sex, I guess, man, I need this God too. Now, these gods change earthly desires into enlightenment. Sometime in life, you may need the big G or Jesus. As they said, man, I need Jesus. But now, most of the time, you really can have these two gods here that you find. The Gohanza is such a beautiful object of worship because it gives you these gods and you find these gods in the Gohanza. There are a few people who have contacted us in the uh, Proud Black Buddhist World Association and a couple of people disclosed to us, they said, well, I'm gay. <laughs> I don't have no problem with you being gay. In fact, if you are gay, we don't have no problems with your sexuality because Buddhism teaches you about equality. And if you're gay, you like anybody else, you want to find love and happiness. And there's this God, you know, Azen, Yo, who can help you find God. So maybe you'll find the perfect mate. That's the beauty of Buddhism and that it is a religion for all people. So, you know, you find gods in the Gohanza. So, we have told you a little, bit, a little bit about the gods on the Gohanza in the Go Show. And we're going to close this out. In the real aspect of the Gohanza, Nitrin says, quote, how wonderful, how wondrous it is that around 200 years and more into the latter day of the law, I was the first to reveal as the banner of propagation of the Lotus Sutra, this great Mandela, that even those such as Nakajuna and Vasu Bandu, Tentai Amado were unable to express. This Mandela is no way my invention. It is the object of devotion that depicts Shakyamuni, the world honored one, seated in the treasure tower. That's the Gohans in the treasure tower. Many treasures, Buddha, and Buddhas who were Shakyamuni's emanations as perfectly as print matches its woodblock. Thus, the five characters of the Lotus Sutra title is suspended in the center. Right there. Now, uh, the five characters seen in the four corners of the treasure house, soccer one of the treasures, and the four leaders of the Bodhisattva of the earth are side by side on the top. Seated below are the Bodhisattvas, including Universal Worthy, Manjushra, Divorce Heroes, including Sharaputra and Madhigar and Yayana. Beside them are the gods of the sun and the moon, the devil king, the sixth heaven, the dragon king, and Ashura. In addition, the wisdom king, immovable king, and kings, immovable, and grave filling taken up their stations to the south and north. The evil and treacherous devil daughter and the ignorant dragon king's daughter form a group. Not only the mother of demon children and ten demon daughters, who are evil demons that sap the lives of people throughout the major world system, but also the sun goddess, great Bodhisattva Hachiman, 
and seven rings of heavenly gods and five rings of earthly gods who are guardian deities of Japan. All various great and small gods, that is, the main gods ranging in rows, how then could the remaining subordinate gods be left out? The treasure tower chapter states, quote, Shakyamuni Buddha used his transcendental powers to lift all the members of the great assembly up in the air. Without exception, these Buddhas, Bodhisattvas and great sages in general, all the various beings of the two worlds and the eight groups who appear in the introduction to Chakmoto Sutra, dwell in the Gohansa, illustrated by the light of the five characters of the mystic law, they display the dignified attributes that they inherently possess. This is the object of devotion. So ladies and gentlemen, we have given you a lecture on the object of devotion and there is so much that you can find because this object of devotion exists within yourself, it exists within your life, and you got the eternal Buddha, Shakyamuni, who is here to teach you, to guide you. All you have to do is have faith in the Gohanza. Thank you very much. I heard of a winter that did not turn in spring. With the lotus teachings you can overcome anything. I bring a message to you. It's about the greatness of the lotus who true. I never heard of a winter that did not turn in spring. With the lotus teachings you can overcome anything. I bring a message to you. It's about the greatness of the lotus who true. I've never heard of winter that the turn in spring. With the lotus teachings you can attain in a dream There's one thing that I want you to know To learn the suit you must study